Welcome back to the build series. Today we're going to work on wiring. So you need to have the enclosure printed out. You should have your power switch, your power supply, and your SSR. You'll also need to print out the door for your enclosure. And that just slides right in like that. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to install the SSR. The high voltage goes towards the power switch and you need two M4 uh, cap screws. Okay. So now we've got our solid state relay placed in. Next we'll install the power supply. You need a couple of M4 fasteners and those will just slide in directly to the power supply. So now we have our power supply and our solid state relay and now we can start wiring. We're going to leave the switch disconnected for right now. Eventually we'll install it in the side of the enclosure like this. But to make wiring easier, we're going to leave it uh, disconnected. And so you'll need to have a pair of strippers and a pair of crimpers. This is a combo version. And you'll need some terminals like this that will connect to your switch and these will crimp on this is going to be our ground cable so the ground is this bottom one right here it corresponds to this this part this is the ground this is your positive and your negative your neutral so the positive will jump over to this part of the switch the negative will jump from here to here, and then you're left with your positive and your negative in your ground. So this is gonna go directly from the switch, and you just rock this back and forth until it slides on. And the other end will plug into our power supply. So now that we have this crimped uh, connection, we can route this wire through the hole and push our switch just kind of temporary, temporarily into place. It doesn't have to go all the way in. And we can just get a length. We can get an estimation for the length. So about that long, it needs to plug into the ground terminal on the power supply. So that's about how long I want my wire. I can cut this and then go ahead and terminate the end. I can strip and terminate the end. A terminal like this, and that will crimp onto the other end of the wire. It's always good to give it a little tug to make sure that you got a good crimp. And we can check again that yes, this is gonna have plenty of clearance. So now we need to make a couple of jumpers. One jumper is gonna go from here all the way up to the top. Another jumper is going to go from middle to middle. That's your positive wire. It doesn't really matter what color these wires are, just as long as they're the appropriate gauge. I'm using 14 gauge wire. So that'll be our negative jumper. So this is our positive jumper, and this one's going to go in the middle to middle. Our negative's going to go from outside to outside, just like this. And this is our ground. This will be your negative, and this will be your positive. So now we need the wire coming from the heated bed 
It's got a red and a black wire. Uh, I don't believe there's a polarity, so it doesn't really matter which way you hook these up. We're going to strip some more of that uh, insulation off. And we're going to connect the, the red wire directly to the number two terminal on the SSR. We're going to run one wire from the positive terminal. We're going to splice it together and run it to the SSR and then to the positive terminal on our switch. So we're going to lift this flap up. Then we'll be able to loosen the positive terminal. It's going to be labeled L for live. We can put one terminal to the positive terminal here. So I've got a terminal connected from the black wire of the bed to the negative wire from the power supply. Now we're going to install the power supply. And this is going to mount right here. Make sure that you have plenty of clearance. Now we can route our wires from our bed to this hole. The red wire will mount to the solid state relay. The negative wire will mount to the negative in the power supply. The negative wire will then mount to the negative spot on the switch. Now we can use an M3 bolt to secure the switch to the enclosure. Last thing we need to do is connect the ground wire to our power supply. Then we can put our door on. I want to mention that I am not an electrician. I use 14 gauge wire. Use this guide at your own risk. The SSR does produce heat. This is just how I wired my machine. You're welcome to use this wiring diagram. And thank you for watching.